Hi, this is Steve from Catspace. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you SolarWorks simulation by conducting a FEA structure analysis of a simple cantilever beam with a load applied at its free end. This problem is also available as a verification problem in SolarWorks simulation help. You can download the part with the simulation set up but we're going to set up the simulation ourselves today. The problem description is shown here. The beam has a depth of 1 inch, height of 2 inch, length of 10 inch, with a 300 pound force applied upwards at its free end. The theoretical solution is given by the formula here, where E and U are material properties. E being the modulus of elasticity, also known as Young's modulus, mu being the Poisson's ratio, and it's taken as being zero in the FEA analysis. This means that there's very little material movement in the z direction as a beam is bent. This is an assumption in the geometric behavior also made within the theoretical solution. Punching in these numbers, we calculate a deflection of 0 0.005 inch at its free end in the upward direction. We will now try to set up and solve a similar problem in SOLWORKS simulation. First thing to do is to apply the custom material properties to this part. I've already defined the custom material beforehand with the given Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. And these properties have now been assigned to the part. We will now set up our first simulation study involving solid elements. We'll apply a fixed boundary condition at one end of the beam to represent the interaction with the wall. At the other end, we'll apply a force of 300 pounds directed upwards. We'll now mesh the model. And run the analysis. We will now find the displacement at the center of the free end of the beam. We will set up another simulation study, but this time involving beam elements. We first have to tell the simulation to treat this part as a beam, and allow it to calculate the position of the end nodes. We then apply a fixed boundary condition at one end. An upward force of 300 pounds at the other end. We'll match the model. and run the analysis. Then find the displacement at the free end of the beam. We can place the simulation results side by side for comparison of the results.
as you can see, the results are very similar to each other, as well as being very close to the theoretical solution of 0.005 inch. This concludes this video.